Good evening. My name is Colette Fazard, and uh, I am co-chair of the DC in 2021 Worldcon bid, along here with my co-chair, Bill Lawhorn. We only have a very brief presentation. Most of our information has thankfully remained the same from both last year's SMOFCON and the Spanish Inquisition from this year at, uh, at uh, Worldcon 76. We are pleased to confirm that um, our dates for the, our um, convention would be August 25th to the 29th of 2021, which is the weekend before Labor Day. And uh, as recently as about two weeks ago, uh, the Baltimore Washington Area Worldcon Association which is the sponsoring organization of the DC in 2021 Worldcon bid, selected myself and Bill Lawhorn as co-chairs of the uh, resulting Worldcon should this bid uh, succeed in Dublin next year. The fools. Um, that is, uh, most of our information is really in the questionnaire. Our facilities are the Marriott Wardman Park in Washington, D.C. We have over, uh, we have blocked on peak nights over a thousand uh, sleeping rooms and suites. Uh, in that one hotel, we have every inch of their function space. And that's it, all the rooms as well. It's, we have run of hotel. Yeah, we have the full run of the hotel uh, for both function space and sleeping rooms uh, for us over that weekend. Um, we've been in conversations with the Omni Shoreham across the street. Should we need, we'll probably get some additional rooms there uh, for overflow and maybe a little bit of extra space that uh, we may, we may would like, that we would maybe like. Um, at this point, we will take any questions. Uh, actually, should we uh, talk about some of the new ideas we've had? Um, so, unfortunately, in 1996, uh, the, that the wonderful world town there decided to do the Retro Hugos for 1946. So 21, it has no op option for the Retro Hugos. So on first night, instead of that, our plan is to highlight the local authors in the Washington, D.C. area, including Maryland and Virginia and the conventions thereof. And we will host a local author reception to highlight them where the local authors get to meet all the fans coming in from Worldcon. So we get to introduce each other. Following along those trends, in order to allow for a little more interaction between the Hugo finalists and the fans, on Thursday night, we plan to run a reception for Hugo finalists to interact with the fans um, in a, a more formalized situation. Um, one of the other highlights that we believe is we're going to be working with Destination DC to organize a tour out to the Udvar Hazy Center, which is the Air and Space Annex, which is out near Dulles Airport, so it's not as easy to get to. And that would be on the day before we start Tuesday. And our value added that we hope to bring into that, you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> And uh, one of the things that we are also looking to do with our Worldcon is to sort of maybe uh, create a more of a formalized sort of fanish intern program, which is basically we would reach out to uh, future Worldcon bids and uh, you know see see which of their staff would like to you know uh, either further or initiate their Worldcon experience, and so we would offer that you know pair them up with more. Uh, experienced con runners at our world con and then we will also be reaching out uh, very gladly to many of the uh, genre conventions in the Washington DC area and in the mid-Atlantic that uh, we would hope to bring many of those uh, convention runners and their considerable skills to and our world con. <laughs> and on that note we'll we'll pass off. Great. Um, so are there any further bids for 2021? Don't make me sit Colette on you. 